this video will show you the latest function of DFDDP data recovery equipment. The function is called to set up and attach VHD automatically as one option to be used as target hard drive. Now let's open the DDP data recovery software and power on the hard drive. Click this data recovery icon. New project. Option disk image. Next step. So this step is to select the target hard drive. Here we can select to create VHD. So the VHD is stored within your working directory. Here we can select the parts to store the VHD. The size of the VHD is dynamic. If your image contains from source drive to target drive and the size of your VHD is increasing gradually. It's not one file of 596 gigabyte like this one. This is just a name, but the actual size is still zero at this moment. So after you image more and more from the source drive, and the size of this VHD file is increasing gradually more and more. The size will be bigger and bigger. So at this time, we can select to store this VHD in one place with enough space. Usually for professional data recovery engineers, they have one professional and special data recovery PC. And this PC is usually built up as read. For example, the engineer can use 4, 4 TB, 4, 5 TB hard drive to build up read PC. That means the total capacity of this local PC has 20 or more than 20 TB capacity. So this kind of capacity is very good and ideal for engineers have a lot of data recovery cases. Because people can set up the virtual hard drive, the virtual VHD, virtual hard drive disk, very easily on local PC. Why do we set up the VHD? Because VHD is totally clean, without any data. Sometimes people collect hard drive as one target drive. If the hard drive contains some data which is not destroyed or maybe somebody just formatted the hard drive and they never used the zero fill or low level format so they haven't destroyed the data the previous data in this hard drive but they collect it as one target drive so when others get this drive and scan the hard drive they may get a lot of partitions, including the previous partitions. So this is not good and very bad. And it has the possibility of disclosing the privacy information of the previous owners of the hard drives. So it's very good to set up one VHD as one target drive. They store the data of the source drive to the VHD. Okay, so it's very easy. Now we click create. So after we click create, and here we can see virtual disk. So the VHD has been automatically attached to the PC. At this time, we can select this virtual hard disk as one target drive and click finish. Now we can image the source drive to the virtual hard drive. Click start. We can see that it's stored to the virtual hard disk.
so it is very easy. Now we can go to the virtual hard drive DFO task and check. So here we can see that the size of the virtual hard drive is increasing gradually. So see? So sometimes you may not find one target drive with enough space to contain the data of the source drive. This is also one good option. You can image the source hard drive maybe 20% or 30% or 40% and you can easily set up a VHD to contain this data. After you find one target drive with enough space, then you can simply copy the file, copy the VHD, copy the image task, copy this task. Then you can continue the imaging with another target drive with enough space. So this is how the new DFLDDP data recovery software help you to achieve this goal. So you can image your source drive in time and you can image your source drive to one target drive safely. Thank you for watching this video.